a little bit of truth in it. Yeah, a little tad bit. They'll give you like the information. Sprinkle. You gotta be able to dissect it. Yeah, yeah, you gotta do yeah. And I'll watch that shit to see how far gone they be talking about. Yep. And this motherfucker talking about, he even said that even in the Bible, when they try to say, Joda, we got more than five fish. And that was actually a spaceship. Hey, hear that one. Yeah, dude, them bugged out, you know, man, with a big ass forehead, only he got a throw and shit. And this motherfucker said when Jonah got swallowed by the fish, he said that in the scripture, he said that inside the fish was made of brass. I was like, I don't, I don't, And they tell you all kind of that. crazy shit. I was like, that's a fucking lie like hell. You don't say shit like that. I would win, I would win to the fucking joke. Like, man, what's going on this bug out? That's the same people. That's like your boy Jordan Maxwell. He'll come out with a lot of truth. You, you know Jordan? He is, he's he's something. Before. Jordan Maxwell. Oh, he's super famous. But and he brings out a lot of good shit. But he got a lot of evil shit sprinkled in his teachings. Like he start, he'll teach bullshit. Uh, he'll say Jesus is actually a sun god, and he'll say. Uh, but then at the same time, he says he respects the New Testament. Oh yeah. You gotta watch out for that guy, yeah, man. Hell right there. Yeah. You gotta watch out for these guys, man. Oh, like a lot of people, they'll say Solomon. They're like Solomon. See, that comes from the Latin word "soul." That means sun. No, it doesn't. That's the English spelling. You got a lot of people try to say Solomon means uh, the sun. I'm like, oh, Solomon's the sun god. But actually, it comes from the word, uh, where you get the word shalom, which means peace. Okay, Solomon's name comes from the same word as shalom, or in the ancient Hebrew, shalom. And it means peace. Because when Solomon ruled, he ruled for 40 years of peace, all right? And these people are so stupid, they don't know that. And, it, and when somebody says that, and they say, Solomon, see, soul, son, and it sounds good, but it's not true. You know what I'm saying? But actually, if you, somebody in the Bible is named after the son, it's Samson. With some, how you say his name? Shamash. The way you say son in Hebrew is not soul, it's Shamash. That's how you say son. That's, that's where Samson's name means like the son. You know what I mean? But people, they don't ever bring that out because they don't know it. Dumb bunch of dumb asses. <laughs> right. 21. Therefore, hear now this, thou afflicted and drunk and not with water. Thus said the Lord, the Lord, and thy power that pleads the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs. The dregs. Well, right now, on oh, my fault. Right now, we're drinking dregs. The dregs, that's, that's, the, that's the bottom of the, uh, bottom of the glass. Like, yeah. uh, you get to the... Yeah, it's like you had everybody had like a big giant. We used it at a party. You had a giant wine bottle. You pass it around. Everybody's sipping on it. And then you get to the bottom. It's all nasty. You got yeah. floaters in it. It's just that nobody wants to drink that. That's like the leftovers. You know what I'm saying? Some nasty yeah, shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> party with a pitcher of beer is going. That, it's all nasty. Yeah. yeah. That's the dregs. You got the, what is that? Uh, the suds at the bottom left. That's that dreg. That's actually the proper term. Every day, yeah, that's a good one. Okay. What's that? What's that? Uh, this is Isaiah. Isaiah, 51, yeah. 51 to 22. Thus said the Lord, the Lord, and thy power that pleaded the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling. See, it's, I told you it's the weekend. There goes the Athenian right there. He's down with Plato in there. The cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again. Yeah, so we ain't gonna drink that shit no more. Like I said, I'm gonna get that scripture I was about to get in Revelation. Okay. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee. Yeah. That goes back to Esau. We've been reading, we've been talking about Esau for a minute now. Hey, the spirit's on the soul. Hell yeah, bitch you know? ass. Which have said to thy soul, bow down that we may go over and thou hast laid thy bodies as the ground. And as the street to them that we own. Which is saying, bitches. We're gonna trade them down in the street. In the mire, in the mud. <laughs> That's funny, they said when Caesar Borgere died, I said, uh, I believe they went, they buried his ass in the street where all the uh, they buried his ass in the street so all the all the carriages and the horses were walked over his ass. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know I mean? There's a game about him. Where all that sass is free. That's about some Yeah, this is the brotherhood. Chester, how you say it's free? Yeah, 
they got, they got a, uh, it's about him. It's about her family. That's crazy. Wow. Is there someone on the internet talking about this? I know that. Have you played, you ever played the first Somebody Resident Evil? Yeah, that's my shit. Come awesome. on, on the mansion. On the fir first Resident Evil, as soon as you go in the mansion, and you go to the first room with the fireplace, there's a big picture of Caesar. <laughs> How do you say his name? Cesare? Cesare. Borgia, right there on the wall. Oh, wow. There's a picture of him right there. I made a video on it years ago, man. I don't know what happened to it. Hey, we took the contract. Oh, here you go. Revelation 18 and 6. Reward her even as she rewarded you. That goes back to what we've been talking about, man. Slavery. Genocide. Yeah, that's American's history. Slavery and genocide. That's great to be American, right? Y'all proud to be Americans, right? Y'all love, y'all love America. The country that enslaved the rest of the world. America enslaves the rest of the world, and y'all proud to be Americans. Yeah, I ain't seen that one fucking Native American walk up the street. Yeah, I never seen them say they was actually they will say they're proud to be an American. Bunch of what they call my Uncle Tomahawks. <laughs> I ain't seen that one of them walk up and down the now, street. They're actually yeah. the worst. They say you gotta love your white brother. Wow. And they're the worst out of everybody. They love everybody. Right. They love, they have too much love. Too much love. They love everybody. Reward her even as she rewarded you. Uh, and double. And that's even more her. fucked up than Native American Indians for the most part. A lot of them were real peaceful. Like we said, they love everybody. But why would you slaughter somebody with some people? Why would you kill off people like that? What kind of what kind of evil motherfucker would kill some good people like that? Who used to be some bad ass warriors? They were some bad warriors. Woo! They, they had, have no they mercy. Had, uh, uh, they had guns I, and everything. Well, I know. I know someone were warlike though. They had some some tribes were more warlike yeah, than like others. Yeah, like the Apache. Mm -hmm. yeah. They just skin the shit out of Esau. The ones that's down in Florida, like uh, yeah, Seminoles. Seminoles. Yeah. Very poor. Just war. They just look forward to war. That's good. Reward her even as she rewarded you. The Lord's a man of war. He likes that kind of stuff. That's right. And double unto her double according to her works. According to her works. So you get, so the Lord's going to judge you according to your works. So how, how is America going to be judged? What's America's works? Just go through the history book. Just read a history book. Y'all ever read a history book? Never. Never not once. See, that's part of the works right there. Let Muslim, are you a Muslim? Muslims should not be allowed to walk around freely. That's against the law, okay? The laws of the Bible say Muslims are supposed to get stones with stones until they die. Yeah, she did look like a Jake. They say, yeah, if you're an Israelite and you call yourself a Muslim, you gotta come out that Muslim spirit. That Muslim spirit is the wrong spirit to be in, trust me. Okay, Muhammad is not a prophet. Trust me, he was illiterate. He could not read. So how, how is it you gonna call yourself a Muslim when your top prophet was illiterate? How yeah, stupid yeah, yeah. is that? Yeah, no the one you call Jesus Christ, when he was a little boy, he was reading and he was schooling the scholars. He was teaching the wise men. He went up in the temple and he taught the priests. Yeah, he went, he went missing for three days. Yeah, he was missing. His parents came looking for him. And the, yeah, the Bible says, study to show thyself approved. How the hell can you study if you can't read? Oh, go ahead. What do you got? And double unto her double according to her works in the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. Yeah, and like that Muslim, double. that Muslim shit really, that pisses, the mo that pisses the most high off, man. Yep, thousand, thousand years. Yeah, so. A thousand years of us sitting down uh, creating new shit. Yep. <laughs> thousand years of that, man. The slavery, slavery's been going on in America for about five, four or five hundred years double. right now. And, and, and counting. So you, they get doubled. That's right, that's right. So that's I mean. Like they putting Ken trails and shit see, over. This is why it's it, gotta be fucking mm -hmm. destroyed because they, they're, they're doing that. They get them hoes on camera. They're doing that. We're gonna get them simple. too late. This, that's an Obama, they look all like prostitutes. All they all like look like prostitutes. They're having a good fucking time with what they fucking ancestors did, man. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Their ancestors knew that. Let me remind you one thing I say about Esau, man. They really think longevity. They are, they they plan a hundred years in the future. They really, you know what I'm saying? Well, they said that in the scripture too. That goes against the scripture because the Lord said, "Take no thought of tomorrow." Yeah. 
you ain't you knew. Spo you're supposed to actually live for the moment yeah yeah that's how you're supposed to live they you're supposed to that. live in it right here and right now they were saying the prayer uh give us this day our daily yep. bread. give us this day our daily bread he didn't say give me tomorrow's bread make sure lord please make sure i have enough bread and uh, so I can stockpile enough food to last for five years for when the economy collapses. He said, That's a good one, man. Yeah. Psalms 49. Are you about to get that? Yeah. Yeah, these people actually think America's going to continue forever and ever. <laughs> like, America's about to be destroyed. We're getting real close to that destruction. It's right around the corner. Y'all still walking around like it's all good and everything's all good out here. You know, America's about to be destroyed. Man, you, got, you got better shit to do than worry about that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Psalms 49 and 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. And their dwelling places to all generations, they call their land after their own names. Yeah, they call everything after their own names. Like, like we're after World War II. After World War II, the names of all the countries changed. They started changing borders. You know what I'm saying? Persia is now Iran. <laughs> I mean, yeah, America America wasn't called America a thousand years ago. Iraq, it's called, it's Iraq was Babylon. Babylon. Yeah. yeah, now they call it Iraq. They changed the names of everything. It was, they try their best to have this. Should America too? Yeah, right. America's yeah, America means bitter. That's a Hebrew word. That was, America was originally on. Canaan, yep. Canaan. A lot of the Native American Indians called it Turtle Island. Yep. 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 It's actually, the word commit comes from the uh, Hebrew word kam or ham. That's, ham actually starts with like a ch type sound. It's kam. It's, it's, it's not really ham. That's where you get commit. It comes from the Hebrew word for ham. So I mean, now they don't call it ha the land of ham no more. Now they call it Egypt. Change, change the names of everything. Oh, like uh, Spain. Spain used to be called, uh, what do they call it Spain in the Bible? Uh, Tarshish? Uh, 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 Tar, uh, oh, oh, damn. Oh, damn. Uh, is it Tarshish, ain't it? I think that's it. Yeah, something like that. If not, I'll correct it in the video. Yeah, Howard Shai is now Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. The, 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 now everybody call him Jesus. <laughs> they, they, they change the names of everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. That's why, yeah, but the Lord says it's going to happen like that anyway, so. Right, right, right. Like, he just read the scripture. He said right. they changed the name. That's right. Yeah. Plus, he said we was going to teach the, we was going to teach the, we was going to teach the word in an unknown tongue. You know what I mean? Like, when, 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 we, when, when, uh, when we teach our people, we're using an English Bible. We're not using a Hebrew Bible. That's right. So everything's out of order. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord really got to be dealing with you for you to get the truth, man. If the Lord ain't dealing with you, you're not ever going to have any truth, man. That's all it is to it. Oh, shit, I had a scripture I want to get. Let me get it before we get out of here. I got this real cheesy ass piece on one and done. Oh, the ahead. thing that hath been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. Yep. And there is no new thing under the sun. So there's no new thing under the sun. This proves a lot of things. It proves reincarnation, for one. It proves that, that this technology we got today ain't shit. Just think of the technology they had before the flood. Crazy. Some amazing shit they had. Crazy shit. Uh, keep going. Kingdom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Noah built that by himself, right? Yeah, right. 
I mean, his wives and their wives felt out. He probably yeah. had some servants too. Dude, this is breaking news. The San Francisco downtown was just evacuated. For what? It doesn't say. Oh, uh, don't. You hear that? He said San Francisco downtown was just evacuated. Straight up? Wow. It doesn't say no reason. Okay. What side is that on? Okay. It's breaking news at Fox. Fox. It's at half of downtown that's been evacuated. Part of downtown is evacuated. Good. I hope I see a mushroom cloud. <laughs> right. Now everybody keeps talking about those missing nukes. Oh yeah, I got that. Here, let me show you something. Oh yeah. Now, Alex Jones is on top of that one. That Yeah, they've got it. Just like in that, you ever watch that TV show Jericho? Oh, it's been a while since I've seen that. That's old. That's old. TV they have. Show. It's <clears throat> pretty much what happened. There was some people. It was in the part of the CIA and the government. They stole some nukes and they lit nukes off. In America, it's like Americans nuked America themselves. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's what they're going to do. They go, they go. What in revolution? Like no, that move, uh, oh, Jericho. That, that was like in the nineties. Uh, uh, that was a uh, that's a good movie. That's a, that's a, that's a, I know that's that's a good movie. Yeah, yeah. What I'm talking about is a TV show that came out in uh, 2008 or seven or something like that. Oh okay. I know what movie you talking about. I can't I can't remember the name of it. Yeah yeah. just said that shit was a false bomb alarm. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, they had to uh, give our hopes up. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, I feel like it's damn. They, they, they doing, they, they probably testing stuff. Oh, here it is. Yeah, baby, you gotta find it. How about Terry? Bitches walking around here. But they, they're all walking around some tight ass pants on, man. That's what I'm saying, sure. Oh, you, you can see the butt strap. Look, you can look up the bitch's pussy in the window. It's on Pat Dollar's website, and war starts here. Uh, it's talking about all these martial laws and the federal government preparing for all, all kind of shit. Excerpts from Kirk Dan Kit Daniel says, the federal government is now conducting nationwide terrorist response drills to further condition the public into believing that security theaters such as NSA warrant the surveillance needs to say. It just happened in San Francisco. Yeah. That was a false, they do all these false alarms on purpose just to get you scared. Get, they want, they are conditioning everybody to get used to checkpoints. Mm -hmm. Just like the, like the TSA. Uh, when you go get on an airplane, you gotta have someone, you know, stick their hands in your pants. And... Keep going. In Indiana, a joint operation is over 5,000 military and civilian first responders. Yeah, I heard about this. Are running a drill in response to a simulated nuclear terrorist attack in Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio, that's right here. Right here. The drill named Exercise Vibrant Response. Yep. You know, right here in Ohio, so they got Russians uh, training with the American military right here in Ohio at uh, uh, Wright Patterson. Right, was that Dayton? Mm -hmm. Wright Patterson, Dayton. Yep. Oh. Dayton, that's where they're here. Uh, yeah, that's a big time military base out there. Yeah. Yeah. The big time. drill named Exercise they, they, fly, uh, they fly B 2 bombers out there and fly big, to the other side big, of the world out big there. Big motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. And big boys. You can hear them too. <laughs> Shit, when they be going over, man, you can hear them. They, yeah, they got the big boys over there. They be there. way up there, all the way out of sight. You can see them on that thing. Yeah, because they'll fly a right. bombing mission from anywhere in the United States to the other side of the world. Yeah. They can fly that long. They'll refuel in the air. They have to. Yeah. The drill named Exercise Life Resource is supervised by the U.S. Northern Command and led by the U.S. Army North. Vibrant response utilizes at least 300 actors and 300 manifolds. It goes into some bullshit. That's, That's the point, though. They're preparing for a nuclear strike in Columbus, Ohio. Maybe they know something. Man, look, I will pray to the Lord that Columbus hey, gets changed. <laughs> look in the window over there. You see the bitch with her legs spread open? Where at? Oh, you can just straight see her fucking pussy. Hell yeah. Yeah. Straight ahead. Oh, you, you can't see the deal. No, she been opening up. It's a little shadowy from here, but you can see it. She, oh, yeah, I see it. She straight opened up, bro. And she know we looking right at her. But she drunk as a she feels She over good. there dancing and shit. Dancing. And 
she knows we're going right out of there. That's she, what I'm saying, she because she's looking, that's what I mean. These bitches is crazy out here, and man. she know that, that's what I'm saying, we know we, we read the Bible. We see some pussy you know, answer to these today. <laughs> God damn, this, this is some crazy shit out here, man. <laughs> well, we've seen work. I read, oh, I guess better to see some, better see some titties and just have someone pull their dick out on us. You remember that? Yeah, remember that dude pulled his dick out? Oh, oh, man. You, were, you went out here with us. We pulled everything out. Oh, I remember, oh, I remember man. that bugged out. He was right here in front of Eddie that, that shit, that shit scarred my mind. Yeah, that, I was out here that bugged out. Oh, man. 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 Yeah, his ass is down right got, now. Got going for years. Who's this? That crazy he slammed, he slammed somebody and almost killed him. Tried to rob him. Oh, yeah. I hear you. Yeah, the crazy motherfucker was walking dude. around. He was having everything. Was... Oh, yeah, okay. I think I do. Was he black dude? Oh, he was. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. He was always drunk. Dude. He had no, curly hair. About. Curly hair, yeah. I see that shit on the news. Bro, you still have something that shit. And yeah, that one I'm seeing on the news later on. Yeah, it's on the end. Kind of loud. Dude, it's hot as fuck. These little sluts out here. That's why I said when the Lord gives it, look at another goddamn muscle. Hey, there's so many Muslims out here. Here we go. Here we go. All that dude. Yeah. Okay, I remember that. Yeah, dude, our camera. Y'all remember that guy from a past video? He got locked up right after he got done talking to us. Yeah, sure yeah. Right after. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I told him not to stop you know, the camera. That's the shit. After <laughs> someone come out here and talk to us, they get fucked up. I like, heard them two bitches that we used to always see all the fucking time. It was a uh, black bitch and she was with some other light skinned bitch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They used to always yeah. come up here and talk to yeah. shit yeah. Yeah. to the point like we was cutting the shit out of them. Their spirits didn't know what to do. Some of that thick light skinned girl? <laughs> no, she wasn't thick. She was she had a nice little petite little uh, body. But it was a dark skinned chick. She had a big ass bug ass. She had no ass. I think I, I remember that. I know you're talking and about. They, and they, like, we cut the shit out of them. They all used to run back and forth to the corner. And I know what to do with they so Like, try to make a mockery of us. And I ain't see those bitches sit. Man, and we talk to our neighbors. Remember, we, used them, remember, we used to see them all the time. When, when we was living in the apartments, we used to talk to all kind of neighbors over there. But at one neighbor, after we gave him the truth, he got he got fired from his job for smoking crack. He got fucked up. His girl kicked him out the house. A, a bitch got stabbed in her neck right across the street from us. Yeah. Got, bitch got stabbed in the neck. Uh, two houses caught on fire. Uh, who, who else? Somebody else got fucked up over there. Somebody got shot. Somebody else got locked up. I mean, I'm serious. They, Remember that old school dude lived at the corner that didn't never want to speak to nobody? Oh, yeah. Oh, his wife his kicked wife him out. Kicked, yeah, she yeah. kicked him she out. She left his ass. She left his ass. <laughs> he was all fucked up. Oh, yeah, she didn't kick him out. She nigga left. Nigga, give like, me my car. Nigga took the car from him and everything. Yep, took his car. He was feeling soft. Yeah, looking stupid. And he, she was a fat was bitch, too. Stupid, big, fat, yeah. ugly bitch. Oh, and he, he was sad, too. Looking stupid. So yeah, you, you hear come, the truth and you don't do shit about it. The Lord gives you time. He gives you enough they time. He gives you a little time. You, you know, yeah. And even the scriptures do say the Lord is slow to anger. Yeah, yeah. But I, hey, don't don't, hey, don't, don't don't get it twisted. Don't, don't make that. Don't turn that slow into hey, fifty years. What's that? Romans thirteen says uh, <laughs> it's high time to wake out of there sleep. Go, we ain't got go. time. That's right. Yeah, that's right. These people don't realize that door is slowly. That's it's damn near shut. That's one thing we. We yep. don't have a lot right. of his time. Yep, that's right. You know, there's only so much sand in the hourglass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. There's only like a couple grains like floating up, you know what I'm saying? That's right, yep, yep. That's how you know this place is extremely good. Because all them kingdoms in the past lasted way more longer than this. Yeah, a lot of them did last for a long time. A lot of them kingdoms last for a long time. For a long years. time. But this is already talking about. They're already even dumbass motherfuckers. Yeah, I got a scripture going already. Hey, let's finish up on this scripture right here. I got going. Let's finish it up with a kingdom scripture. It's getting late, ain't it? 
I was kidding. Yeah, I don't watch it. I don't care. I don't care either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. This is the only time I'm alive. What's up, bro? Not much. You the one that got caught last week before? Uh, nah, we gotta read the scripture. It's a revelation 21 and 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Well, this is talking about America getting destroyed, man. That's what that's talking about. Because you can't go into the kingdom of heaven. This kingdom is still standing. That's right. Great. It's like you can't get the new unless you get rid of the old. Hey, we're going to be in the kingdom in America. We're still it's like the visit to the empire. This, yeah, this shit is still going to be This is still going to be here. We're going to be like a different country, right? <laughs> right. That don't make no sense. No, sure don't. No, no, no. And then you got the dumbasses that try to say America is the kingdom. You, you, you out your goddamn mind. You imagine that shit. These man. devils be plotting on nuking us. <laughs> you yeah, know what I'm saying? The, 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 this was the kingdom. We will be next out. The, the country... <laughs> The country who has the most faggots, the most venereal diseases. Oh, yeah. the, I mean, just you the go most. down the line, the most wickedness. They gonna say that's the kingdom, right? No, you're dumb. You're, you're fucking of obesity. Yeah, you're stupid if you believe that, man. Because that's a popular doctrine in the church. They always teach that. Uh, Revelation, uh, what am I, 21 and 2. And I, John, saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. <laughs> and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. That says the same thing as Hosea 1 and 10. All right. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Yeah, yeah this goes back with it. when you was reading that Isaiah. He said that we is no more going to drink of the bread. That's, right. that's what that's talking about. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, neither crying, neither shall there be any more pain. Like no more pain. What was you talking about earlier? For the former things are passed away, and he that sat upon a throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. He said it's going Words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. That's that water. Y'all ain't got no water. Y'all y'all drinking uh, high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah, y'all drinking uh, motherfucking motherfuck Pepsi and shit. Yeah, right. We drinking that water. Doo doo water. Yeah, doo doo water. This water. Drinking a high. High fructose genetically modified corn syrup. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they drinking some high fructose cum syrup. Yeah. Kool-Aid. Uh, Kool oh, a lot of the Kool-Aid's got uh, different sweet. You gotta look up all the different sweeteners in it. There's like tons of different sweeteners, man. They put in different like Kool-Aid drinks, and they all cause cancer. The, the only sweetener that's it's still bad for you is sugar. But sugar won't give you can't. Well, I, I probably could fuck you up. Give you diabetes. Or Man, something. this you bitch really sugar. got no but if going, skirt on at all. Well, sugar you, is a powerful drug, though. That's yeah. the. It's a powerful ass drug. Yeah, it's a powerful drug. You can. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm diabetes saying, I'd rather put. Because you know you don't, don't ever drink Pepsi and shit, bro. Don't drink that shit. Oh yeah, I was done with that Coca-Cola product. Yeah, fuck you up, man. For a while. Anything with high fructose corn syrup in it, stay away from. He that over this is Revelation uh, uh, 21 and 7. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers. Great those that sound uh, great Americans. Yeah, that's pretty much great Americans. You can substitute great American for that. <laughs> yeah. Great Let me read that again. But the fearful and unbelieving and abominable. I just want to say I love what you guys are doing. I just came from a Bible study. Oh, man. And I, I just want to say I love seeing stuff like this because, you know, we got to let people know 
I just want to say I appreciate what you guys are doing. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Dapper, dapper. I'm out. I don't know you yet. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got to try the spirits. You ever read the scripture said try the spirits? Uh, try the spirits whether they be of God. What's that? First Spirit. John? Yeah, First yeah. John. If you know where it's at, get it. I can find it but I'm on this scripture right now. Yeah. So where, where are you going, going to church at? Um, Greek Orthodox Church. It's actually right down the, it's on High Street. You can go in this way. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it. It's you know the down. pastor there I last year got caught molesting little kids. Yeah, right? I actually altar served for the guy. You didn't hear about that? Yeah, no, yeah. I He said he knew him. Oh, Fuck. you know I, him. I couldn't. I mean, you, and you still go there, bro? Yeah, I mean. You know they all do that, right? Most, I know. No, all that's of them. The, that's the thing about, they, they're, they're deceived. I mean, they. Well, look, I mean, check this out. The Greek Orthodox Church, no different than the Catholic Church. You know that, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, they all yeah, teach yeah. exactly the same thing. Exactly. And the Catholic <laughs> priests, they, they're all child molesters too, bro. Yep. The Catholic priests. Oh, man. That's what... There's a new pope came out and said that you have to stop... You're not allowed to report child molestation no more. He said he's tired of hearing about it. That's unbelievable. Yeah, it's crazy. There's, I don't know. Yeah, but, uh, but uh, no, but like that's the thing is there's religion and there's then there's a relationship with Jesus. Well, religion. That's, that's what it's about. It's a relationship with Jesus. Yeah, I know, I know. And so, uh, but no, I'll tell you what. I go to that church and a lot of people go there for the politics and social. And, you know, and that's why I, I don't know how long. I give my guys a break. Yeah, we get a break. What kind of Bible do you have? This is just New Testament right here. So oh, what kind? Who? What kind? Who published it? Uh, not published, but what kind of translation is it? I'm not sure. It's it's the Orthodox Study Bible. So. Oh yeah. It's, not, it's probably not from the Textus Receptus. Actually, it might be. I don't know. It's like wisdom and knowledge. You don't you don't say what translation it is? Uh, I have to take a look. I'm not sure. You should get you a King James. I I have that on my phone actually. Oh, do you? But a phone has everything. You get, I can look it up on my phone. You can get a hundred different versions on the phone. Oh, yeah. So you, you should really be studying Greek and Hebrew. You know that? The oh, Bible yeah. is written in Greek. Well, the New Testament is written in Greek. The Old Testament is written in Hebrew. So if you want to get a full understanding of the scripture, you have to study Hebrew and Greek. Okay? But I want to show you some uh, yeah. scripture dealing with these churches. Because all these churches, they're all... Uh, they're all full of shit. You just put it that way. I got a script for it. Uh, uh, go ahead, read what you have. Ecclesiastes, this is uh, Ecclesiastes, chapter 6, <laughs> 6 and uh, 7. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first. You prove him first. Stupid. That's why, I mean, I don't... Oh, well, yeah, yeah, you don't know me. That's understandable. And being not hasty to credit him, yeah, for some man is a friend for his own occasion. That's on time. It will not abide in the day of that trouble. Yeah, so that's why I said we got just trying the spirits, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, First John, let me read this right Oh, go ahead. This is First John 4 and 1. Beloved, be, believe not every spirit. Believe not every Just because you come up saying, oh, I'm a Christian, I love Jesus, this and that, that doesn't mean anything to us, you know what I mean? But try you, shall know, you shall know them by their fruits. Not by, go ahead. Go but ahead. try the spirits whether they are of the most high, because many false prophets are going out into the world. There are many false prophets out here, and some of those false prophets are in that church you're going to. But let me ask, I'm going to read this scripture right here. Listen to this. This is dealing with your, all these churches. And all your, in a Greek Orthodox church, they're all 501c3 churches. You know what a 501c3 church is? They're under a government uh, charter, a uh, tax exempt status. Which means they're not allowed to properly teach the gospel the way it's supposed to be taught. For example, they, they, homosexual. homosexuals. You're yeah. supposed to condemn oh, homosexuals. I'm, I'm with that. Adultery, uh, women getting divorces over and over again. You're supposed to condemn a whore. Okay, you're not supposed to embrace uh, a whore. Yeah, you're not supposed to encourage adultery. Okay, I'm going to read this scripture. Uh, Acts 7 and 48. <laughs> Be it the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet. You hear that? He said the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. He said, Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will you build me, saith the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? So he said, the Most High, the temple of God is not made with hands. So this is the temple of God right here. 
the, the, the word of I, it's all word, word of temple. He's the universal supreme. We're, we're all we're, we're, we're the temples of the Holy Spirit too. You know, like the kingdom well, of God. Well, yeah, yeah, the temple, the kingdom, the heavens inside of you first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's, not, it's not about outside of us, it's about what's inside of us, you know. It's what you believe inside your heart. It's what matters. The, the scripture said, whoever believeth on him shall be saved. So if you don't even really believe, you ain't going to be saved. You, you can go to church all you want. You don't have yeah, No, I, I'll tell you what, that, that's probably 90% of the people in there genuinely do not love God. They're there. Like, you, you see it all the time. It, like, they're in the back talking. They're not... You know, like, they don't listen to the sermon the priest said. Well, or, he ain't teaching nothing anyway. That's why they're not listening. Yeah. Hey, give me, uh, <laughs> give me Jared. That's why they're not listening. That's why I used to fall asleep in church when I was a kid. I used to be like, ah, oh, is it over yet? God, please go home. It's like, because they're teaching BS. It's all garbage. Hey, give me, uh, I got it. Jeremiah. Like, right there, right there. Uh, you already got it. Yeah, oh, well, I'm right there. Okay. I used to go to church, man. It's 123 no, no, one. Maybe one or two one. scriptures. Yeah, and then, 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 then it's a concert. Yeah. It's a concert. We play music, they dance, and they, somebody fall now on the floor. And they're not going to have an interpreter. If yep. somebody's I'm just going to go through the door on that crazy shit. They don't do that in that orthodox. Yeah. Oh, they don't do that? Yeah, that's the uh, Pentecostals and uh, the Baptists. The Baptists do that shit. They're supposed to have an interpreter. Yeah. And somebody comes and says, can you interpret that? <laughs> like, here you go. This is Jeremiah 23 and 1. Woe be unto the pastors Whoa. that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, said the Lord. Woe be unto those pastors that destroyed and scattered my sheep. Now, when he in there teaching on his soft, sweet BS in your church, they're not going to read too many. There's a lot of fiery scriptures in the Bible. The voice of a white bow, bro. The Soft voice. Oh, the so get it, uh, Isaiah, uh, <laughs> Isaiah 30, uh, you know, 30. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. all these preachers and all these churches, they're not, they're not going to read a lot of the scriptures we read, like the death and destruction scriptures. They're all they're going to do. Yeah, they, they just want to build, you know, they, they just, just make, build you up. And they sit and talk with 30, a sweet, no, soft 30. voice. They, they don't want to correct 30. anybody. And they and they don't, they promise you what you want to hear, you know, yeah, things right. of the they world, tell you what you want to hear. Stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. This is all about, really, yeah. it's all about money, man. They want your money, you know. Yeah, yeah, feel, good. Yeah, feel good preacher. Like Joe Osteen. And the ones that care about you will tell you the most truth. That's, 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 that's us. Yeah. That's us. I got more to this. Oh, go ahead. Therefore, thus said the Lord, power of Israel. Of Israel. So the Lord is dealing with Israel. Okay? That's the Lord's people. When you read Matthew 15 and 24, the Lord said he came to save the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So now you got to ask yourself, who is the house of Israel? You know? Here we go. Therefore, thus said the Lord, power of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people. That feed them. He's feeding y'all dung. He's feeding you yep. uh, diarrhea. He's giving you diarrhea milkshake. Yep. To GMO dung. Uh, <laughs> GMO. GMO dung. You have scattered my flock and driven them they, away. When they get in there and they don't ever tell you who the Israelites are, if they get in there and they tell you that you're a Gentile, they're scattering the sheep because that's what these churches do. They get in there, and they tell their whole congregation that you're all Gentiles, and they don't. They, the Bible is all about Israel. It's about the Lord coming to save the Israel to forgive Israel of Israel's sins. That's what the, the Bible is about. Are you an Israelite? Me? Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm um, Greek and Italian. So, I guess. If you go way back, I guess I'm a Gentile. You go See, there you back. go, because that's that, that, that BS they put in your mind. Yeah. Because, because, the, I'll get it for you. Well, you know what? You are a Gentile, also. Well, yeah. Are you following You're not in America. America. He's spiritually uncircumcised. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I got one for you. Matthew 15 to 24. Now, this is a scripture the churches never read, okay? Uh, I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. Matthew 15 and 24. And this is red letters. But he answered and said. No red letters. Yeah, that's, that's what Jesus is talking about. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Read that over and over. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. <laughs> so the lost sheep. Ooh, the Israel is a lost sheep. Like, like he just read in Jeremiah. It said the pastors scattered the sheep. That's how they became lost, is from all these preachers teaching lies. So so, so it's the, that's why the Lord is called the good shepherd. What does a shepherd do? 
Right. You know, the word shepherd comes from the two words sheep and herd. He herds the sheep. That's a shepherd. A shepherd. And we're the sheep, the lost sheep of Israel, the you, children of the Most High. Right. You have scattered my flock. We're the ones, we, we're the ones who uh, Moses walked through the Red Sea with, okay? We are, that's right. Was that that's a chariot? Right. No, I was just looking, oh, I looking at that. <laughs> that black. <laughs> you ever seen chariots flying around? What they call them, you know what a chariot is? Oh, I've, I've seen, I've watched documentaries, you know. So you believe I, I, they exist? Huh? You believe they exist? Yeah, I believe they exist. I, you know, I don't know. I'm, like, they, they exist. I'm not going to say that's just a bunch of BS because, it, you know, it's yeah. true. I don't, but I believe that's going to do with the Lord. I'm not sure what exactly. That's the Holy Scripture. That's how he left. That's how he's coming back. Let's Ezekiel, let me get it. Let me Ezekiel, get it. Uh, let you me get find it. a lot of so-called UFO scriptures. Ezekiel 1, that's an easy to remember. Ezekiel first chapter. I actually asked the first chapter. Acts one. How did the Lord leave the earth? He ascended. He ascended up. What to what? We well, can better read it for you. I started with top two when it's it. Uh, top, yeah, yeah oh. started because there's a lot of meat in there. A lot of good stuff to read. In there. That acts the first chapter so deep. You. Yeah. you came to the right spot today, bro. <laughs> you gonna get some real knowledge for the first time. Where you want me to start at? It's just Acts one and uh. Just, yeah, just start. I'm sorry. Yeah, start at one. Just go through kind of quick, I guess. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, the former treasure of uh, Tutais have uh, I made of Theophilus of all that Yahweh Shai began both to now, do. He said Yahweh Shai. Now, Jesus is not Jesus' real name. But Jesus is a Greek translation of a Hebrew name, which is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the ancient Hebrew way of saying Jesus. Because Jesus is Greek, all right? Listen, He's until going. the day in which he was taken up. He was taken up. After that, he, through the Holy Spirit, had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. I'm going to jump down to eight. Oh, right, that's cool. Because I wanted to get taken up. I wanted to get that. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Eight. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses what? unto me, both in Jerusalem, in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Yeah, well, we are here right now, the uttermost yeah, parts of the America. earth. That's the other side of the world. That's right. Israel's on the other side of the world. It's 2,000 years later on the other side of the planet. Here, check this out. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. A cloud received him out of their sight. <laughs> and while UFO, kind of, yeah. yep, I got a number. They didn't have the term UFO or spaceship. It wasn't unidentified. Right, yeah. right. They knew what it was. They knew what it was. <laughs> yeah. Right. Here we go. And while they looked <laughs> up steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, the Thessalonians. That's what I'm gonna get next. Oh, I got uh, one for went you. up. Behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. That's some angels. Two angels, which also said. Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. He said he's coming back the same way he left. <laughs> and you read the scripture say he's coming back with legions of angels Woo! out of the sky. That's the the whole earth is going to be covered by these things. He said, every eye shall see him. Every eye. <laughs> I got another one to back you up on the cloud. What you got, bro? Uh, 1 Corinthians 10. Here we go. 1 Corinthians 10 and 1. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant. Like, we ain't going to let you be ignorant, bro. I'm trying to give you some love. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. Woo. So that's talking about the Exodus. And this is written to the church of Corinth. You know the Corinth, uh, Corinthians? Greece, Greece, right? right? Yeah. So the, these were Israelites. But they, <laughs> so the Greeks that you read about in the New Testament were actually Israelites who lost their way. So Paul would wake, woke them up and brought them back to remembrance that they were Israelites. And that's why he said right here, now let me read it again. He said, moreover, brethren, I would not that you should be ignorant how all our fathers, he, he told those Greeks, that our fathers passed through the sea, the Red Sea. So he's saying we're all the same people, we're Israelites. And we're the ones who passed through the Red Sea. Okay? 
Let me go through it again. Moreover, brethren, I would not that you should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud, which is the so-called UFO, and all passed through the sea, and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. Jeez. All you get, all you get, uh... Some Israelites was just in Greece. There's no custom. Yeah, yeah. They, they started following the ways of the heathen. I don't know. I don't know if God smiles upon our country anymore. He's gonna That's destroy America. Never, America. Never, That's never, 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 never did. Never did. It's going to get destroyed by fire. You know, since the beginning, there was slavery. There was. I mean, yeah, it was built it was by never, birth. Plus, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, by his people. Yeah. Yeah. Says, yeah. Uh, might be no. hope for you. World War II, a city that established. The town of blood. Yeah, established a city to the decree of blood. I never. Not too many people are gonna say that, dude. Well, sorry. Not too many people is going to admit what you just said. They, they're so proud that they could never admit that. And they, they, it's not, yeah, it's not. They think it and there's so many people who say they're Christian. You know, and I, I'm, I'm not you know, the saying devil, that. When they first came and brought us over here as slavery, they were coming over here to make Christian. Yep. yep I'm, sure it, was. It, was just, it, it hurts to see people that claim to know, I, you know, that know God, yet they live, you know, in sinful ways. And it's, you know, it says God will give them over, you know, to what their heart truly desires. Yeah. I don't know. If it, and you know, like I have friends who say they're Christians, and yet you know they go out and get, you know, they get drunk. They. There's no wrong with drinking beer. Oh no, I mean, I mean, they get drunk and have sex. And right, right, it's, right. I'll see, I'll and it's a more, you know, it's like. I know they live at, like God gives alcohol, but you enjoy it, and you know, you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to abuse your body with it. Yeah. Well, I know because streets throwing up. And well, that's what I'm saying. You know, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. they go out and. Well, that's you know, all they live for. It. All people want to yeah. do is get. Smoke lunch and if they just catch, I just, you know, if they catch a glimpse of God, they'll realize all that they don't need it, you know. And but there's yeah, a group of people that their fate's already sealed. Yeah, like they're like done. Their their hearts are just too hard. Yeah, they're they're, they're done. <laughs> the only way we save God directly in uh, you know, nah, okay, there is there is a judgment day. No, the Lord, the Lord's already coming to save the Israelites. He ain't. Uh, he's not saving all nations. Here's another one right here, Zechariah. Uh, and five and one. the Israel scattered among all nations. Israel is the greatest. You know, the Abraham made a God made a promise to Abraham. He told him that your seed was going to be more numerous than the stars of heaven and more numerous than the sands of the seashore. Okay, there's more Israelites on earth than any other people, bro. We're scattered among all these heathen nations. Yeah. So that's why you have to, the scriptures say, you got to teach the gospel to all nations. Because Israel, our people are scattered everywhere, bro. Yeah. They don't know they Israel. Yeah. It's just in his place. Yeah. There's confusion of faces. It's, it's, I feel like, like George Bush said, I forget, it was like in 04, 05, he said they, they should relook the borders of Israel, you know, and around that area. And right after that, you know, we hit a recession, and now Obama's, and you know, his stances aren't <laughs> as pro-Israel either. Shit, he gave him like $30 billion. Oh, he did? Uh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's right. Who do you think? His boss. <laughs> he takes orders from Israel. <laughs> that, I that's, hope so. Yeah, all that you, is, that's, so. that, that's that media propaganda, mainstream media propaganda. They try to make it look like Obama's against Israel. He works for Israel. The United States, hey, get Revelation 2 and 9 real quick. Those are not, those people over there are not Israelites. In Israel? No, those are not Israelites. Behind those doors, uh, they're planning the destruction of this nation. Yes. Which is going to happen. There is no... Yeah. There's no stopping. It's going to happen regardless of what these people want. You seen the other day when the EBT cards got cut off for half the day, right? That's true. Just, uh, the food stamp cards? You know what EBT is? No. Food stamp. Oh, yeah, food you stamp. never, you don't raise them. Well, look. The, <laughs> where you from, man? Where you from? I, I've been, I've been blessed. Where you from? I'm from Upper Arlington. Oh, oh yeah. man. Woo! I've been blessed. There's I've some beautiful blessed. homes in Upper Arlington. Old homes, we're, too. We're, we're middle class, though. Trust me. I look at I those, too, and I look... Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Yeah. And my aunt, okay. she she married a rich lawyer. She was living up there. I used to fuck with the cops. Oh, bro. I used to go to my aunt's house. I used to say, wow, she's rich. I felt, I felt like a piece of shit going to her house. I got this Revelations 2 and 9. Now, check this. It's talking about them so called Jews living in the state of Israel. This I, was, go ahead. I know this. Revelations 2 and 9. I know that works and tribulation and poverty. And poverty, we're poor. 
But that are rich. Now we're rich because we have this truth. This is real knowledge right here. It is the truth, okay? You go on. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. He knows the blasphemy of them who say they are Jews and are not. Keep going. But are the synagogue of Satan. But they're the synagogue.